Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to get everything set up for using MongoDB on Windows. So we're actually gonna be setting up two different things. We will download and install MongoDB Community Server, and then we'll also install uh, MongoDB Compass, which is a graphical user interface for the MongoDB server. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna open up our web browser, and I'm just gonna come up over here, and we'll just type in download MongoDB community server and the link for MongoDB download center should come up we're just gonna click that and then I'm gonna come over here and click community server so Windows actually has a uh, installer for this so we're just gonna click the download button it's really easy to install MongoDB on Windows and it's actually they pretty much do everything for you which is great so when that's finished downloading we can just click on it and we'll go ahead and run the installer so I'm just gonna click through the installer you can for the most part, leave everything as the default option, although there are gonna be a couple things that we're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. So I'm just gonna click complete, so we'll just do a complete install. And down here, you'll see that there's this little checkbox that says install MongoDB Compass. Make sure that that's checked because we're gonna be using that uh, as we go through the course. So I'm gonna click next, and then we're just gonna click install. All right, when that is done installing, uh, MongoDB Compass should actually open up. So we're just gonna go ahead and agree to the license and we can kind of click through all of this stuff and we'll click get started. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how to set this up in the next tutorial, but what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to um, start up the MongoDB server and we're actually gonna have to create a um, couple different folders. So the first thing we'll do is create these folders. So you're just gonna come down here into your file explorer and in order for um, MongoDB to work, we're actually gonna have to create a folder structure that it can use to store everything uh, that we're gonna tell it to store, to store all the databases and stuff like that. So by default, MongoDB is gonna look for these folders at the root directory of your hard drive. So here I am just at local disk C. So I'm just gonna click on this. And what we can do here is we can actually create a couple folders. So I'm just gonna say new, folder and we're going to create a folder here which is going to be called data and then i'm going to go inside this folder and we'll create another folder and this folder is going to be called db so as long as we have these two folders at the root directory of our hard drive data and db then we should be good to go if you don't want to put these two folders at the root directory of your hard drive you can put them somewhere else but if you put them somewhere else, we're gonna to have to tell MongoDB about it. Right, so the next thing we're gonna to have to do is configure our Windows path variable. And we need to do this in order to be able to execute MongoDB commands on the command prompt. So I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly what you need to do for this. So just open up your uh, file explorer and we're just gonna go back to local disk C. I'm gonna to go to program files and then I'm gonna come down here to MongoDB. We're gonna to go to server, version number, and then bin. So what you wanna do is you just want to go to properties, and then inside of properties, this should give us the path to this folder. So you'll see over here, we get this path right here. You're just gonna copy that, and then you're gonna come down here into your uh, search bar, and you're just gonna type in, start typing in environment. So ENV, all right, and then this little guy right here should pop up, edit the system environment variables. We're gonna click that. And then over here, this is gonna allow us to uh, edit what's called our path variable. And the path variable basically just tells Windows uh, about different executable files that we've uh, installed. So I'm gonna click environment variables. In here, we're gonna go down to path. It should be the second one. You're gonna click edit. And then once you're in this window, you're gonna click new. We're just gonna paste in that directory that we just copied. And then you, you wanna make sure that you put bin on the end. So make sure that it ends with bin. And once that's there and that's on your path variable, and then you can just click okay. And we're just gonna click okay out of all this stuff. And now what we're gonna do is just make sure that it worked. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna open up my command prompt. So I'm gonna say CMD and we're just gonna open up the command prompt. And then inside of here, we just wanna make sure that everything's working. So you're just gonna type in Mongo hyphen hyphen version and this should pop out a MongoDB version just like that. So assuming that you installed uh, everything correctly and that you added that bin folder to your path variable, then this should show up. And now what we wanna do is um, we're basically gonna start the MongoDB community server. So the command to do that is just M-O-N-G-O-D. Now it's important to note that you need to have that data DB file structure set up in order for this to work. So you remember before we created that data folder and that DB folder at the root directory of our hard drive, 
uh, that needs to be all set up for this to work. If you created that data DB uh, folder structure somewhere else, then what you can do is say mongod like that hyphen hyphen DB path, and then you can put in the path to wherever that data folder is. In my case though, I just uh, put it at the um, root directory of the hard drive. So that's like the default location. So assuming you did all of that, then we can just type in mongod, and this should start up the MongoDB server for us. So you'll see over here, we got this message. It says waiting for connections on port 27017. So basically how this works is we have our MongoDB community server set up. And then what we can do is we can connect to that database server and we can give it all sorts of commands and tell it to do all sorts of stuff in order to manage our databases. So you wanna just leave this running. So don't exit out of this command prompt window. You're gonna leave this running. I'm just gonna minimize it. And then what we wanna do is we wanna actually connect to that server from the command line. So what you can do is just come down here to this little command prompt icon and I'm just gonna right click it and we'll make a new window. So you can just click that again. And what we're gonna do is connect to that server that we set up. So uh, what you can say is just mongo hyphen hyphen host, localhost colon 27017. So that's gonna be the default port number. I'm just gonna hit enter. Now we are connected to that server. So uh, this command prompt is gonna be able to give commands to the MongoDB community server. And this is basically where we can do all of our MongoDB programming from. So this should be pretty cool. All right, so that's basically how we set up everything. Now, I understand that this is kind of a complex setup process. Unfortunately, it's just unavoidable. You know, when you're dealing with database management systems, you know, these aren't simple applications and these aren't applications that are necessarily designed to be, um, you know, extremely user friendly. So there is a little bit of configuration, but as long as you followed along with, that, with what I did, then uh, everything should be fine. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.